Hi, I'm Daryl Cagle, and this is the Cagle Cast, where we're all about editorial cartoons. Chris Wyant is one of the most popular cartoonists we syndicate. He draws for the Boston Globe and the New Yorker. He does children's books. He was a Harvard Beeman Fellow, and he's won a bunch of awards. Joe Heller was the editorial cartoonist for the Green Bay Wisconsin Press Gazette for 28 years. He does children's books, and most impressive to me, Joe's editorial cartoons are self-syndicated to hundreds of newspapers, all by himself, a feat that no other cartoonist that I know has achieved. Ed Wexler is an Emmy-nominated creative director at Disney for 30 years. He was a regular cartoonist for U.S. News and World Report, and he drew the star-studded caricature covers for the Hollywood Reporter's Emmy and Academy Awards issues for many years. And Monty Wolverton draws wonderful, quirky, liberal cartoons that we syndicate everywhere. Monty is doing a crowdfunding campaign now at kegel.com slash Wolverton, so please take a look. It's tough to make a living in editorial cartoons, these days as newspapers are fading away so the support of fans can make all of the difference in keeping artists like Monty drawing and you can make a difference please visit kegel.com slash Wolverton so welcome gentlemen great to have you all here thanks thank you good to be we're here. gonna flip through a bu- flip through a bunch of cartoons and chime in with all your thoughts this one is from Chris you got the elephant sitting in the the big Venus flytrap of extremism. It's been watered by Trump, and uh, elephant says, "What's the big deal? I have it right here where I want it." That's an excellent cartoon. I like it. I like the I like the pendant figure of Trump. I guess we would call that in art history or something. Little That's tiny right. Trump. Tiny Trump. The way we like him. Yeah, <laughs> he's pendant. Little tiny head. Good scary <laughs> yeah. cartoon. Here's another Chris Wyatt cartoon. Two panels. First panel, what Republican leaders consider to be a threat to our schools? The CRT and sexual diversity, LGBTQ and and what they don't consider to be a threat is gun violence and mass killings in schools. And that's just a good contrast. We can't have enough of of that message, I think. Yeah, I need to keep saying that over and over and over again. Well, what's frustrating is the cartoons like this that we think are most important are often the least reprinted. uh, Oh, they're dangerous. Dangerous. They they do well online. this This one did pretty well. It did. Boy, you know, online is so entirely different than newspaper editors. I find that too. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. They will, they will hopefully catch up at one point because the online will become the newspaper editors. I think we have a generation shift that will eventually come. Whether there will be a you newspaper think... or not, I don't know. But Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we, we still have newspapers. I should add that, uh, you know, this is an audio as well as a video podcast. And so I read and describe the cartoons for those people who do not get to see the images. But if you don't see the images, please join us on kegelcast.com or kegel.com or Apple Podcasts or spotify or youtube and you can see all of the cartoons as we discuss them and here we have chris wyant with a woke black guy listening to a racist transphobic sexist homophobic islamophobic bigoted anti-semitic maga guy who says why would you wear something so hateful oh it's the great, shirts that describe great, great them cartoon. that is Very a great good. cartoon and i like did... the simplicity of the, of the woke this nice lowercase yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shirt. It's a nice font, right? It's funny. Yeah. All the cartoons feel like, yeah, I like the font. Me too. It's like, oh, I don't usually write oh, so man. well. well yeah. all, the, all the fonts on the shirt too are, it, it works great. It's decorative and funny and makes yep. the point. How well yeah, did it do as far as uh, newspaper? I don't know. <laughs> how, how did this do? I tend to give you the stats and look at the ones that perform well. And then I often send emails to cartoonists to show them which cartoons they did that nobody printed. And all the ones in between, <laughs> I don't really look at. Well, yeah, okay. So I don't know what to tell you, but- Yeah, I, uh, think, I, was, I think I was a middle lister on, on, on this one. Okay. So, okay, not You know, totally anything, not anything with a MAGA hat where, you're, where one side describes the other, uh, the editors tend to shy away. They like, yeah. they like funny little jokes that don't express an opinion. Um, Unfortunately, that is true. To our great frustration. Both are represented here, at least visually. <laughs> okay, here you got an elephant holding uh, abortion ban bills in his hand, and he says, I absolutely support a woman's right to choose to not live in Oklahoma, Texas, Arizona, Idaho, Florida, Wyoming, Kentucky. That is an outdated list already. <laughs> 
I need to expand it. Very nice. Oh boy, yeah, it's half the states. It's terrible. This is a an oldie of yours, but I just thought it looked so nice, and I liked your texture. And there's such a wonderful tradition of broken down old cars and editorial cartoons that everybody loves to draw. So you've got the mechanic in his garage, which is a big mess, and he's made a big mess of Uncle Sam's democracy car. And the elephant mechanic says, "Try it now," when it has no motor in it. I I think this is just a lovely looking cartoon. It's a nice cartoon, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fun blocks. to draw an engine block. Okay, gentlemen, now we're up to Joe. <laughs> we're up to Joe Heller. Joe, you've yes. got the the Fox News Fox and the Dominion lawsuit, but uh, the Dominion lawsuit is shears, and you cut off all his hair, and underneath we see that he's a rat. I think that's funny. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's a great image. That's brilliant. Yeah. It's just uh, you had to think to come well, up thanks. with that. I, I thought, you know, what? It's just one of those things that it came to you. you. So many of us draw the Fox News as Fox, you know, and I thought, you know, they're going to get sheared, and from there it just went uh, on to what, you know, once you get sheared, you look like a rat. You know, you're not yeah. a real fox. And you're not Another thing that news. I find frustrating about editors is that they avoid cartoons that make comments on other media. Have you noticed mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Yes. Are you seeing that change at all? Because there's yes. media reporting on itself a little bit differently now. They and love to report on themselves. They're self-focused. But uh, when it comes to criticizing another outlet, they are shy from that. Um, but this does it well. Uh, and this is, a, this is a lovely readers. Republican bashing cartoon. You've got Michelangelo's statue of David holding an AK-47 covering his private parts, just the way that Republicans would like to see David. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nothing objective. And, yes, then, uh, so no, I, was, I don't I think was that... very, very generous with them giving that uh, high, higher capacity uh, cartridge there and sort of covering up his. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yes, it's, it's a, a, a very flattering AK-47. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well placed yeah. munitions. All right, here you got a six-panel cartoon with the white guy talking to the black lady who is a teacher, and the white guy is holding a band list, and he says, Hey, teacher, we don't trust you with these books. He's holding a history book and says, We don't trust you with history. He holds approved pronouns and says, we don't trust you with grammar. He's holding a rainbow and says, we don't trust you with rainbows. He's holding a picture of a statue of David with an X on it. He says, we don't trust you with art, but I do trust you with this, as he holds the gun. Excellent yeah. cartoon. Yeah, that's great. great. Yeah, nice turn. Yeah, a little wordy for me. But, uh. Okay, here's you got the judge with the abortion pill rulings, and he says, as a federal judge, I identify as your pharmacist. The Joe, Joe, the voices that you wrote it with. <laughs> Very Brooklyn, almost like Ben Stein. <laughs> yeah, I think you That's should do great. Texas. Okay, and here's your Mickey Mouse Club cartoon, Joe, with angry but happy-looking, uh, well, sinister-looking Disney characters saying Disney sues Florida Governor DeSantis. Why the sinister look? Like they're going to go after DeSantis. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting back at him. They're going to crush him. Yeah, getting back. yeah. They, you know. They're just confidently uh, angry eyebrows, but big smiles. Um, yeah, like just wait for it, kind of thing. You, you're gonna you're gonna get your come up. It's yeah, vengeful disagree. Wrong fight. All right, Joe. So here you got a guy putting in all kinds of yard signs that say "I still support Trump," and you got a couple walking by, and the fella says he's gonna run out of yard before Trump runs out of scandals. We've got. Uh, uh, people driving away in their car with the license plate that says first state to ban TikTok, help Montana. And uh, the kids in the back seat say, Mom, I'm so bored. Yeah, me too. I'm really bored. There's nothing to do. Excellent uh, cartoon. I like your this voices. You must have done really well, right? Is that a Montana I, just voice? Doing I, you know, I, I got a few papers in Montana, some of the bigger ones, and they. We're wishy-washy about that for some reason. I don't really? know. Why. I don't know why. But this uh, will go through the summer. This will be a popular. Yeah. Wishy-washy. How did their wishy-washiness manifest itself? Well, it's just like I got a couple that said uh, this is funny, but I'm not going to run it. Uh, oh. Uh, that kind of stuff. And I think they're more, like you said, they're more <laughs> braver online. A couple of them said I'm not going to print it, but I'm gonna put it online. You know, it's okay. I don't know if you got a spine, bigger spine, and 
the, your I, online entity or publication and print. Yeah. I you suppose, know, maybe it was so, just yeah. that they anticipated it would generate a bunch of mail rather than uh, making people angry. Just that could be, didn't want to be. deal with mail. Mail's a good yeah. thing. That means that people are reading. Yeah. It's free monitoring. But I liked it, you know. Ed, we're up to you. Here you've got your crazy Republican Matt Gates, and he's with his little underage uh, sex partner, and he says she's 21. And what's so funny about this is her face is pixelated out. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's a great touch. It's really. It's just, just an excellent game. It's a nice touch. Yeah. It really is good. Thank you. She yeah. got the little uh, brightly colored lollipop and the school books and picked them. She's 21. It's okay. It's fascinating how tolerant the Republicans are of this stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't Why do you think? Why does he get away with this? Well, maybe they, she's they, planning on having an abortion, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's a beautiful drawing, a very funny caricature. It's got a big square head. Here you got three MAGA elephant ladies counting the votes in Arizona. And the first one says, I'll just keep recounting votes. And the third one says, until it comes out right. Yes. That's a very true cartoon. All you have to do is draw truth. Yeah, I I, I, I liked for a while there, I liked uh, depicting MAGA ladies as uh, blonde elephants. You get the haircuts really right. Well, that's good. Oh, that's good. I, and I thought this was very funny. You've this got uh, DeSantis Tinkerbell flying over the rainbow, singing uh, "Bibbidi Bobbidi LGBTQ." <laughs> Great caricature. I was I'm just, just still fun. struggling trying to get a handle on uh, on drawing DeSantis. Oh, oh wonderful, DeSantis! Yeah, yeah. I think you've got the handle. He, he's got like a bulby nose, but he doesn't have a big nose. Mm -hmm. you know? This wow. logo is funny. Drawn like Disney. A hilarious yeah. cartoon. Thanks, <laughs> And here you've got the elephant painting himself into the corner, painting out his law and order, but wanting to defund the FBI in his black defund the FBI paint. He says, <laughs> we're the law and order party, except when it comes to Trump. You know, that actually could have been Trump. And not an mm -hmm. elephant, but I thought it, I thought the cartoon would di be printed in uh, more publications if it was an elephant. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's true. You draw Trump, and it just doesn't get printed. And this is all about deflecting away from Trump and his crimes, right? All of his stuff. Lovely cartoon. Thank you. Yeah. And here you have the Republican couple sitting on the couch, and the wife in. And their ashtrays are full and smoking, and they're both smoking. The wife has her curlers, and she's funny as can be. And she says, so he's a staunch anti-abortion candidate who's paid for his girlfriend's abortions and denies four of his kids. And the husband says, nobody's perfect. That that was during the time of uh, Herschel Walker and, you know, the Republicans' blind defense of everything about him, with all the abortions that he's paid for and all the hypocrisy, all the Herschel Walker hypocrisy. That's their ongoing theme of not caring about any moral turpitude. Uh, and here's another beautiful DeSantis cartoon. You have Mickey's arm. All you need is Mickey's arm. And he's swishing around the dictator detector and it's beep, beep beeping off of him like a metal detector. I try to, I try to capture uh, DeSantis' uh, athletic physique. <laughs> Overstuffed over shirt. Over his five o'clock shadow and his upper lip, I think, are just very funny. Yeah, yeah he's completely sculptural as a human being. <laughs> he's <a sculptor. laughs> Yeah, this is a lovely cartoon. You've That's got uh, Trump with his tiny hands in handcuffs. This was the day that he was brought in for his arraignment. Lovely, simple, very cute That's cartoon. Great. That's great. It's one of those you look at and you think, why didn't I think of that? It's mm -hmm. so, but nobody else has done that. Nice when that happens every, every now and yeah. again. Well, lovely cartoon, Ed. Well, thank you. Yeah, this is a lovely cartoon. You've got the uh, three conservative justices carrying the the coffin of ethics with Ginny Thomas on the top wearing her QAnon crazy hat with a big smile. Wonderful caricatures. Yeah, the Ginny Thomas is perfect. Perfect Ginny, yeah. It's so I, funny. I, I must say I enjoyed drawing that Ginny Thomas. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> he comes through. <laughs> You know, we did a yeah. podcast uh, with the theme of Clarence Thomas that was our most popular one so far. That's kind of good. And Chris, 
you popped oh. up here where I didn't expect you to be. So we got the Democrat donkey and the Republican elephant. They're each holding signs. And then the donkey has a sign that says, are you better off today than you were 40 years ago? And the Republican has, are you better off today than you were four years ago? That makes a good point for one of our recent elections. I don't recall which, uh, 2012. <laughs> I'll edit this one out if you want. Yeah. But I think it's great. <laughs> Still works. Very good. It's a funny Still drawing. good 11 years later. It's a funny drawing. It's great. Here's another one that I thought I took out. Um, <laughs> you can edit these out if you want. The, the, ele Too many. <laughs> the elephant and the, the donkey each chained together with entitlements when their axe is about to uh, whack the either the chain or their own hands off. Each saying, you first. That's an excellent graphic. Mm -hmm. I like this one. That one's probably 12 years old, too. Yeah, the year old. I Very put in a few of mine. Um, We've got uh, Donkey and the Elephant chasing after money and, uh, you know, the pig represents business and greed and mm -hmm. he's sitting in the rickshaw getting pulled by the, the Donkey and the Elephant. Here's uh, Trump and his spineless Republicans as he pulls out their <laughs> spine. Uh, here's uh, oh, uh, GOP well, Guernica. Don't, don't go so fast. Yeah, you're too quick. <laughs> oh, I'm just going through my own faster. They, uh, you know, I've seen a whole lot of cartoonists do a whole lot of Guernica cartoons, and they're always good and they're always popular. And editors just seem to love art masterpiece metaphors and cartoons. Did you draw this to scale like the real Guernica? Like oh yeah, it fills my house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's. Uh, uh, Republican inv inviting the the folks into uh, the house to vote where they just fall off a cliff. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good one. It's a yeah. strategy. Oh, you did you did a vertical vertical format, which is unusual. Mm -hmm. Vertical format gets printed less, but sometimes you want to do yeah. it anyway. Yeah. Here's a math cartoon, elementary school math. Uh, the gun plus the Republicans in love with the NRA equals all the dead people in the graveyard. Uh, another card that I, uh, cartoon I'm sure didn't get printed much. That's a nice caricature. It is. And here's the Republican elephant all tied up in a knot, which seems to be their natural position. Okay, we're up to you, Monty. Well, there it is. This this goes back a ways, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. So we, we got a couple elephants talking to each other, stacks of paper, and one of them says, "I love the smell of election audits in the morning." They do love, they do they love do. to audit when they yeah. don't win defunding public education elephant says the others and when our plan is complete only the wealthy will be able to afford education finally the riffraff will be under our control oh the gop and science science says good news we're adding years to your lifespan and the gop says good news we're saving money by cutting medicare and social security thereby taking years from your lifespan for some or reason my gop guy who looks like a generalized GOP guy in Congress or something turned out looking like a data a little. <laughs> there is a little data. A little, bit. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little Brent Spiner. Yeah, Caroline. Brent Spiner, yeah. I don't know why. I just noticed that afterwards. It would be much kinder, I think. I noticed also your Republicans tend to have weak chins. Yeah, they do. Well, like DeSantis. Look at DeSantis. Okay. Or at least Wexler's DeSantis. He's got much, he's not that much. All right. So here your Republican says, and we won't stop until every American man, woman, and child is equipped with their very own AR-15. White, straight Republicans, that is. Yeah, you can't yeah, well, trust the other people. Stopped. Can't trust the other people with AR-15s. We'll give them squirt guns. Here's your DeSantis, Monty, mm -hmm. uh, dressed like he's a king knight from the Middle Ages. And he says, at last, my reversion of Florida to the Dark Ages is complete. And now for the rest of the country. And behind him, they're saying, bring out your dead. Yeah, a little Monty Python reference there, if you recall. And here you've got the elephant in the nest with Elon Musk. I guess they're in bed together. Twits of a feather. Elon says, make yourself at home. The Twitter nest. <laughs> this is actually the week after he screwed up the, the big release of the DeSantis campaign. And yet he is he's GOP friendly. It's increasingly becoming the haunt of GOP. Uh, right you, you captured his like his creepiness. You can totally tell it's him. He's creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, there, and there's, the, there's the trademark there, and he hasn't said anything about it to me so far. You, you wonder if they see him, you know? Does the elephant have a belly button? 
He has quite an interesting yes, belly button. <laughs> it's either a belly button or a, or a spider. I like it. Okay, gentlemen, we've gotten through our 35 cartoons, That's and it. they were a, an excellent right. 35 cartoons. So you guys have any more comments on crazy Republicans? To say, they're crazy. It's like shooting fish in a barrel <laughs> once in a while. I guess it is. Well, my next one will have bloods and guns in it, so it probably won't see much publication, but maybe it will. I, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I, I'm more than happy to draw about independents and Democrats if they just, you know, if the GOP would stop hogging the, the, the attention with insanity. If they just took yeah, a, they're, did they're something else, a, maybe govern, uh, and then I'll be bored. It's such an easy target, as it were. I uh, says we got to start watching the right news channels. That way, uh, <laughs> you know, we can start drawing those fake cartoons. Right, but... You make an excellent point. So, everybody, thank you for uh, joining us. Remember to subscribe to the Kegelcast wherever you are watching this. Subscribe to the Kegelcast. Subscribe to the Kegelcast. Our Kegelcast is available in both video and audio versions. So if you don't see the cartoons, go to Kegel.com or Apple Podcasts or YouTube or Spotify or Kegelcast.com to see the cartoons and video podcasts. Go to Kegel.com to see all the cartoons. And gentlemen, it was just a pleasure having you all here today. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. That was great. Thank you. Nice to see you guys. You too. All right. I'll see you next time.